do is, is alderney rig my anchors. Uh, this means that I can actually um, drop my anchor and retrieve it all from this part of the boat. So there's no going up onto the bow. Uh, and the way that, that this works is that you drop your anchor off this the side of the boat here. This rope clips around your anchor warp and then you pull the anchor warp to the front of the boat. You need to have a large buoy which is attached to the anchor warp by a large steel ring. So the anchor rope is going through the steel ring, the boy's on top of the steel ring. Um, when you want to retrieve the, the anchor, you steam up tide and it pulls the anchor walk through the, the ring. The boy lifts the anchor off the bottom and the chain that the anchor is attached to the anchor walk by is heavier than the anchor. And so once it's pulled up and pulled through that metal ring, the anchor just hangs underneath the boy. And then it's an easy thing, just cut the engine, turn sideways onto it and just retrieve the rope. Right now, this is something I've always done on my boats uh, because it, it makes it so much easier to retrieve the anchor. But, but on the radar, it's particularly important because there is no actual walkway alongside of the boat that you can walk around the boat. So if I want to go to the bow of the boat, I've got to clamber through the cabin and come up through a hatch, which, which is always a little bit fraught. I've, I've, I've set this, this um, dog rope or lazy boy or whatever you call it so that it's on, on rollers so just to help. <laughs> so to help. So if you, if, you, if you see there, there's a roller going up to there which just assists. And also it keeps this part of the rope away from that part of the rope because what you don't want is them end up wrapped around themselves and you end up with a, with a, with a problem. So it keeps them separate. All right, well, we've come out on a wreck. Uh, we've had a few drifts on it. Just so to pick up some mackerel, uh, if nothing else. Uh, but nothing. Uh, the water's got quite a lot of colour to it. It's not as bad as it was in shore, but it has got colour to it. Uh, so we're going to drop the anchor now. Uh, and the way I have my anchor, I have all my anchor warp at the back of the boat in a big bucket. Um, it's there for a reason. If I have to shed my anchor because there's a ship bearing down on me and I, can't, I haven't got time to draw my anchor in, I can chuck the whole lot over the side. It's not going to go anywhere because it's going to be suspended underneath this buoy. So I can come back and pick it up at, uh, later. But it means I can get it out of the way of a ship. Um, anchor warp here chain anchor anchor's got a trip on it um so that if it gets hooked up in the wreck or something hopefully that'll snap out uh, and it will bring the anchor up backwards um and then we have a dog rope or lazy boy here which pulls the anchor around to the front of the boat that's the plan um we'll see how we go so if i get, get, get the jason the, the camera we're going to steam up tight find our location on the top of the anchor uh, and then Peg using a clove hitch onto the anchor warp. That is so that the boy on the orderly ring is up tied to the boat, it's not underneath the bow of the boat, just means it's a little bit more controlled. Lazy boy now, so I can draw that up to the front of the boat. So we're now 
now attached to the anchor by the front of the boat. We'll drop back on the side, tie up the anchor. There's the anchor warp attached onto that cleat and the lazy boy attached onto that cleat and we're just swinging back at the moment. Um, wind is blowing us a little bit off the drift but we'll swing round onto that boy and we'll be anchoring so we're fishing back into the wreck. And you can see amongst all those scribbles that little arrow is me. I'm dropping, gradually dropping back on the tide and all the little purple marks is the wreck. So once we swing round uh, and we're hanging back on the anchor walk, we're going to be nicely positioned to be fishing back into the wreck. About 50 metres up high from the wreck maybe. Uh, remembering that's the peaks of the wreck and so there's wreckage ahead of that. Looks like some mackerel here. Okay, we can cut the engine for a bit of peace and quiet. So that's how it's done. There's the boy out of up tide of the boat uh, and we're swinging around so that we will be facing into the tide. Um, and when we fish, we're gonna be fishing back towards the wreck. We don't wanna be fishing into the wreck because that just leads to lots of lost tackle. We wanna be fishing so that we've got our baits down in front of the wreck. Um, we haven't got, we have got some frozen mackerel so we can put a frozen, we can put a conga bait down. Um, we've got a little bit of worm so we can put some bream baits down. And we've got some crab, so we can get the mighty wrasse. Yeah, lovely. Let's get fishing. We're on the ordinary ring, uh, which involves me steaming up tide. Max is going to hold the camera, uh, and I'm going to direct him. So we want to go left of the buoy, steam up tide. simple task just holding this anchor this rope in and it'll go straight into my big bait big rope bucket so here we go the anchor is now hanging with the chain counterbalancing it
the anchor the chain on this anchor is actually attached by a link to the nose of the, ch of the anchor and then it comes up to the tail of the anchor where there's just a bit of light twine tying it in place. And the idea being is if the anchor gets caught in the bottom that will snap and the anchor will pull out backwards. I've got my boy clipped onto the ordinary ring with a clip so that I can take it off there so I can stow that elsewhere. Easy peasy lemon squeezy.